Hey, hey, section five, marriage is necessary. Now, this is maybe against what a lot of people believe and a lot of people say, hey, this is just a piece of paper. You know, it is only a piece of paper. It means absolutely nothing. But see, and maybe if we lived in a world that pieces of paper did not matter, then that would be true. But we live in a world where that paper means everything. What is your college degree? What is your high school diploma? Unless you have that, or you've been, one has been printed up for you and put on file, you don't have a degree. You don't have a diploma. They have to have record of that on paper. What is a contract? If you don't have something written, which now we have email, which is also legally binding, it's like a contract, but a contract, I signed a contract for my book, Make It Work. They didn't say, hey, Tony, we're gonna give you this and you're gonna give us this. Okay, cool, great, nice talking to you, bye. No, they told me what they were gonna give me. I told them what I'm gonna give them. Then they sent by mail four contracts printed out. And they said, Tony, you sign one and you keep it and you sign the other three and you send it back. That paper matters. So for everyone who tells you or if you've been telling yourself, it's just a piece of paper, it means nothing. No, it means a whole lot. It is legally binding. And I'm gonna tell you why marriage is necessary. Marriage is necessary because marriage means I am committing to you until death does us part. That I have the wherewithal and the desire and the heart to make a lifetime commitment to you. Now, marriage is not final. You can get a divorce, but just the act of making the lifetime commitment says so much. Because a person who will make the lifetime commitment, it shows you that they have at least some intentions to honor that commitment. And that is why people who are against marriage, which is a lot of time men and then sometimes it's women if they've had a horrible experience in a marriage or a relationship. I've heard women say, I'm never getting married again, but it's because they're damaged. And that is why you need to heal and you need to grow. You can't operate from damage or from brokenness or from past pain. See, men is different for men. The men who say, oh, I don't want marriage. That doesn't mean anything. It's just a piece of paper. It means absolutely nothing. We can be in love. If it means nothing, then you can do it. If it means nothing to you, but it means everything to your woman, then why not do it? If it means nothing, I'm going to tell you why they don't do it. They don't do it because they know it means everything. They know that if they sign that dotted line, that they are making a commitment and they are making a vow before man and under God. And that if they get a divorce, especially without a prenup, that's why we have prenups. Prenups is on paper. That's on a piece of paper and that means everything. So if you don't have a prenup, which they may not have the money to want to even do a prenup because they don't have anything to lose right then or much to lose, but they don't want to do marriage because guess what? Now you got to pay for a divorce attorney. You got to spend fees. You're going to have to pay spousal support. You may have to pay alimony. If you have a child, you're going to have, that's going to be included in what you're paying in your spousal support, or you're going to be on child support. So that is why paper is so powerful. That's why a lot of men don't want to be on child support because if you get on paper with that child support and they don't pay, license are suspended, fines, um, passports are revoked. In our world, paper matters. So whatever you say about marriage, understand that it is necessary because that means that you have two hearts that are fully committed and fully invested in making this work. And these two hearts are saying, I will love you until death does us part, which really means I'm loving you through eternity. 
So I want you to understand, if you believe in marriage, never let someone tell you that marriage is just a piece of paper, that marriage means nothing, that marriage is a curse, that everything changes after you get married. Sometimes that is true, but that is up here. It's mental. It doesn't have to be true. It doesn't have to be true for you. I made a commitment to my wife to love her until death does us part. If I leave her, she deserves half. She deserves everything they will give her because I gave her my word. And if I go back on my word, she deserves it. Now, if I cheat on her or she cheats on me and that causes the divorce, then the, the victim, the person who was cheated on, deserves everything. And if you go through and you lose and you got to split 50-50, you got to sell the car, sell the houses, guess what? That is a part of a relationship, but you'll never fully appreciate it if you were never all in. Marriage is necessary.